Hi, this is Mark Ryan. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a Vertex AI pipeline that will automate going from a CSV file to a trained Keras model deployed in a Vertex AI endpoint. We'll be going through how you can go from the situation on the left, where you're training the model using a notebook, in our case, a notebook running in Colab, that once the model's been trained, it gets deployed to a endpoint in Vertex AI, to the situation on the right, where you're starting with a CSV file and running a script that takes you all the way from that CSV file to a trained model deployed in a Vertex AI endpoint. Last time we left things off here. We had taken a model that had been trained externally in Colab. We had imported it into Vertex AI and we had deployed that model to a Vertex AI endpoint. And then in what the stage we're seeing here, we had tested the model using the environment, the testing environment that's available in model registry. And for our next step, we're going to try and build a pipeline. And this pipeline, what it'll do is it'll remove some of the manual steps that we had previously. So we'll be able to go from a uh, cleaned up data set all the way to a deployed model at an endpoint in Vertex AI automatically using a script. So we have to go through a number of steps. First, we need to upload some things to Google Cloud. We need to take a look at the script that's going to be used to run the pipeline, as well as the adaptations we need to make to the training script. But first, we're going to start by getting the things we need into Google Cloud Storage. We're going to use the Cloud Shell instance to run the pipeline script and as our basis for the overall project here. Now, the Cloud Shell is an instance that you have available to you in Google Cloud, and it's a really great asset to have because it gives you a way to do to have to prototype things and to try things out without having to worry about setting up a local system. So the Cloud Shell includes this command line interface where we have the full, uh, a, a full, essentially a full Linux instance that we can take a look at. It's been set up already with the files that we need. It also includes, flip over here, an editor where we can update files as we need them. And in this editor, we can take a look at the files that make up the overall solution. So the first, the key file that's here is the pipeline script. And this is a Python file that contains all of the calls to the Vertex AI SDK that go through the steps to uh, create a container in which the training script will run. And then when the model has been trained, deploy it to a Vertex AI pipeline. Now we're in the uh, Cloud Shell editor and we're currently looking at the pipeline config file. And this has parameters for the pipeline script, including the image that we're going to use for the training. This is an image, a, um, a Docker image that gets updated with the script for our particular training, the deployment image, the location of the config file for the training, the location of the script that's being used for the training, the actual Python script, the spec for the machine that we used for the training, the spec for the machine that we used for deployment, the project ID, the region that it's in, the dataset ID. So the data sets that's being used to tr for the training process will be defined as Vertex AI dataset, the URI for staging, and this is very important, the URI that contains the config file that's used by the training. These parameters specify the proportion of the data set that's used for training, validation, and test, and a flag to determine whether or not the model gets deployed. So by moving all of these parameters into a config file, it makes it easy to rerun this pipeline without touching the actual Python script. So what we're looking at now is the Python script for the pipeline itself. So this contains a set of imports 
we get a timestamp because we want to see how long the script's going to take to run. A function to get the config file. So this is a local file. This is a file that's resident in the file system for the cloud shell. And this controls, this is the file we we're just looking at that has the parameters for the pipeline itself. A function to create a custom training job object. A function to run the custom training job object that we created in the previous function. A function to deploy the model. And the main function. So in the main function, we ingest the pipeline configuration file, which we were looking at earlier. We set these command line arguments. So these are the arguments that are sent to the training script that runs in the container that's defined as part of the custom training job call to the Vertex AI SDK. We call the function to create the custom training job object. We create a tabular dataset object using the Vertex AI dataset that we created earlier. We call the function to run the custom training job. And from the, as output from that, we get the, the model. We check the flag to see whether we want the model deployed. And if that's the case, we call the function to deploy the model. And then finally, we print out the time that it's taken to run the overall script. We've done a quick walk through the pipeline script. Now let's take a look at the script that's actually used to do the training. So there are two scripts here, just to be clear. There's a script, the script that calls functions in the Vertex AI SDK to adapt a predefined Vertex AI container to use our training script. It invokes that training script. It takes the model, the trained model that is the result of that training script and deploys it. So that's the pipeline script. This training script gets run in a Docker container that's adapted. So the Vertex AI provides a set of predefined Docker containers that can be um, adapted to use your own training scripts. And that's what we're doing here. So this is a fairly long script and this was adapted from a notebook that was run in Colab. So I'm gonna focus just on the parts of this script that are particularly, that need to be particularly updated in order to make it work in the context of a Docker container. So this script was originally run with access to a local file system. So it could go out to the local file system and get the config file and go to the local file system and get the data set. In this case, because it's running in a container, it doesn't have access to the same file system that we're running the pipeline script in. So we had to make some updates to adapt to that and to use the, uh, the setup that's provided by Vertex AI SDK. The part of the training script that we're looking at right now essentially reads the argument that's being passed from the pipeline script. And what this argument contains is the URI for the location in Google Cloud Storage of the configuration file that's used by the training script. Now the training script has a pretty complex configuration file. Let's just pop over and take a look at that. So it has all kinds of hyperparameters in it. It has the list of the features that are used for the training features that are not used. So there's, there are, it's a fairly complex set of uh, parameters. And the nice thing is, rather than trying to pass each of those parameters in the command line, we can go ahead and pass them in a single file that we put into cloud storage. That's what this code does. It reads in the values that are coming from that config file and they all get put into config, which is a dictionary that contains all of the values that are in this config file. But instead of being read from the file system, they're being read from the location of this file in Google Cloud Storage. These environment variables that are, that are listed here are a set of environment variables that are set by the Vertex AI SDK and these environment variables are set in the context of the container in which the training script runs. So we ingest those values and they include patterns for training, validation, and test. 
and these are URIs with wildcards that point to all of the CSV files that make up the training, validation, and test subsets of the dataset. That's what this, it reads the values of these environment variables that are set by the Vertex AI SDK in the container in which the training script runs and reads them into local variables. And then in this function, we go through the process for a particular one of those patterns. So this may be the pattern for training data, for validation data, or for test data, and uh, ingest those values into a single data frame. And that's what all this code is doing here. So it's parsing the URI and then bringing all of the uh, the CSV files that, that match that pattern for that URI and bringing them into a single merge data frame and then passing back that data frame. So we've been through the four files that essentially make up this solution. There is the pipeline script, which is a Python script that runs in the Cloud Shell environment. There's the pipeline config file, which sets variables for the pipeline script, including the container, the predefined container we're going to use for training and deployment, and the location in cloud storage for the various things that make up the, uh, the overall system. There's the training script. This gets deployed into a container, so it can be run there. And finally, there's the config file for the training script. So here we are back in Google Cloud Storage, and what we've done is we've uploaded the CSV file that contains the uh, claimed up Kuala Lumpur real estate dataset file. So that's this here. And what we're going to do is define a Vertex AI dataset that's associated with that. So we've defined a dataset in Vertex AI that contains the two be associated with the cleaned up dataset. And we're going to take this ID, we're going to need that, and copy that. And we've copied that into the dataset ID parameter in the pipeline config file. Okay, we've put all the things that we need into Google Cloud Storage. That includes the having a staging directory, having the config file for the training script, and ha we've created a dataset in Vertex AI for the dataset that will be used for the training itself. We have set the parameters in the pipeline config file that match the locations in uh, Google Cloud Storage for those parameters, as well as the ID for the Vertex AI dataset. We've set up all of these files, and now we're ready to kick off the pipeline script. We'll get asked to authorize Cloud Shell, so we'll go ahead and authorize that. And now the pipeline job is completed. It took about 10 minutes to complete, but it got all the way through. If you do hit any errors in running the pipeline job, it's very helpful you get a link to the Log Explorer, which looks like this, and you can go and take a look and see the details about what's, uh, what went wrong. The other thing to keep in mind there on the subject of the Log Explorer, we go over here to um, Model Training, everything, oops, rather the model training script, we have used logging throughout. So, uh, you know, it's best practice to use logging rather than prints for uh, uh, this, kind of, this kind of Python coding. You have to do it for something that's being run in the context of a, um, a Docker container. Everything that you want to check needs to be put into logging and that way you can see what's happening. But for this run, we have successfully created it. So that means that we have uh, an endpoint. And if we go and take a look now in Vertex, and here is the endpoint that was generated by this script. So with this script, you may remember for the, the, local, the local run, 
We had to uh, had to run everything individually. We had to run the notebook. We had to then take the notebook, do the upload, and go through the whole process. Here we have a single script that gets us from the data set to a the model deployed at an endpoint in Vertex AI, all within one script. And what this means is we can rerun this, we can make changes, and everything will be controlled. We can automate the running of this script and we get all of the benefits of running in Google Cloud. So what we had in the previous video is we started with the trained model. We uploaded that trained model into cloud storage and we went through the steps to deploy it to an endpoint in Vertex AI. In this video, we've been through the steps on the right. That is, we had the cleaned up CSV file. We uploaded that to cloud storage. The Vertex AI SDK split that CSV file into train validation and test subsets. Running the pipeline script created the container that incorporated the training script and the training script sucked in the train validation and test CSVs from cloud storage as well as the training config file. The training script was executed. It generated a trained model and then that trained model was deployed to an endpoint. And that's an example of how you can use Vertex AI to get a simple end-to-end -end pipeline created that goes from a CSV file for tabular data to a trained Keras model deployed to an endpoint in Vertex AI.